So I just ordered a figure from Oz GK. I already paid for the thing and just waiting for shipping. But now that they said the thing I want suddenly doubled the price, should I get a refund? Hi and welcome back to the channel, I'm Steven. For today, this is a quick mini tutorial for those of you guys who may be new to third-party resin figures, how to pre-order and purchase them, but I think the process is very similar to buying figures from any websites out there, but there is one crucial difference between third-party stuff and the genuine stuff which you have to be aware of, that one mistake you shouldn't make or it will cause you a lot of headache later on, right? Before I show you guys the difference, we take a look at Japanese websites, how they do things, right? And for example, this is HLJ.com, our affiliate partner as well. Let's say you want to purchase this figure of Lumin from Genshin Impact. This is an in-stock item. So as long as the tag in-stock is over there and you can click on the button Add to Cart, I would say you are pretty much 95 to 100% guaranteed to get the item as long as you check out and pay for it. For items on pre-order, I would say 90% chance you'll get it. In case there is a severe shortage, then if you took too long to pre-order, maybe you might not get it. But otherwise, yeah, your chances of getting something you pre-order early is pretty high. As long you can add the item to cart. But if you couldn't add it to cart for any reason, regardless of whether it's a pre-order or an in-stock item, if there is no add to cart button and for this one over here, this Ganyo, the item is discontinued and not expected to come back in stock, then yeah, you can't purchase it. Over in AmiAmi, let's say they say the item has already pre-order closed and they don't let you add the item to cart. Yeah, you can't pre-order it anymore. It is that simple. However, for third-party websites, and this does not apply only for OS GK, but pretty much every other third-party website like Favor GK and many others, Sometimes the figure is already pre-order closed. They don't take pre-orders anymore. But you can still add the item to cut and check out. Okay, I'm going to show you guys one example over here. Yeah, okay, this Miyin Studio Furina from Genshin Impact. Product phase pre-order closed. Contact for current prices. But you can click on deposit or full payment and the model you want and add the item to cut. For example, I'm picking model A, $256. Yes, I can add the item to cart and check out, no problem. However, there is a catch over here and they have already mentioned contact for current prices and that is exactly what you should be doing. So this is the one mistake you shouldn't do which is purchasing a figure and checking out and paying for it when the product phase, the item st uh, status is already mentioned pre-order closed, right? Does that mean that you are paying for the item and you won't get it in the end? Not necessarily. Uh, but before we get to that, I'm going to show you guys a Reddit post on what happened to this one person over here. This post is from September, right? And back then, uh, OzGK, before November, their website looked very different. This is currently their version 2.0 website where everything is very clear cut. They even mentioned that the item pre-order closed and contact for current prices. But the older version of the website, version 1.0, which is no longer our concern, but I just want to show you guys the difference. They mentioned pre-order closed, but there is nothing about contact, the, uh, contact for current prices, at least not as obvious as this version 2.0 website, right? So people get confused. I can't blame you guys for getting confused. So now we go, we go on to this Reddit post over here from September. I actually wanted to make this video way sooner, but yeah, my schedule is very packed. Better be late than never, I suppose. Okay, so I just ordered a figure from Oz GK. I already paid for the thing and just waiting for shipping. But now that they said the thing I want suddenly doubled the price, should I get a refund? Yeah, uh, okay, uh, the figure involved is something from Pokemon and it used to be 323 US dollars but now it is 474 for the regular version and 674 for the shiny version and the final update he got the refund so that is all great news, right? Okay, uh, then we move down to the comments especially those that are actually helpful or informative. Okay, this guy Woody or D Woody 23, he said that 
my recent experience with them was real good, but I understand the confusion of the price hike. Because when I first started collecting resins, that happened to me too on Favor GK. But you have to understand the best option is to always talk to customer service first about a resin you have interest in, so that the way you can get the final price and the stuff, especially if it is for pre-order closed or out of stock resin you're trying to pay for. More than likely, the price will be higher because of scarcity. I ordered my double S Kev Kevla from them and out of stock resin, the price was 360 on the website. But when I contacted them, they updated the listing to 466 and that is how much I paid plus shipping and everything arrived perfect with no breaks. Personally, it's a great place to order, but my best advice is to always check with customer service first. Yep, basically that is it. And then uh, RealMaker24 here said that very normal situation. PC House Kyogre has been released long time ago, few quantities. Products that have been released, which the studio itself don't have any factory stocks left, can only get from other collectors. The price change daily in the secondary market. And with this kind of scarcity stuff, OSGK can help negotiate and buy from other collectors and help reject the integrity of the product once it arrives at the warehouse. And the website has a note, the pre-order closed products have to consult with customer service before you check out. Yeah, I'm adding the link to this Reddit post down in the description below. You can go and read the entire trade yourself, no problem. Okay, basically the main lesson from this Reddit post over here, a very informative and helpful one is that if you see an item out of stock or pre-order closed, despite being able to add the item to cart and check out and even pay for it, don't do that until you get a proper pricing quotation from the customer service. Contact them directly. It can be email, it can be WhatsApp, doesn't matter which method you, you use. Yeah, contact them before pre-ordering. You see, the one unique thing about third-party websites that sell these resin figures is that Sometimes the items have already pre-ordered closed or it is completely out of stock after release but they still let you add the item to cart and check out as usual because they may not have the item on hand and even the factory, the company which produces these figures, they have ceased, they have stopped producing the figure. They have a way of procuring more units of the same figure from other sources, maybe from other suppliers from other middlemen or even from other collectors and other figure stores out there who have extra stock lying around. They can help you hunt for these solar items and then help you check everything, the integrity and everything and then sell it to you. But obviously because the item is already sold out, widely sold out, so the value may have gone up by then. Just a matter of supply and demand and this happens very often with third parties because Unlike genuine figures from Outer or Kotobukiya or Good Smile, which are mass produced in very high numbers, maybe five digits even, these third party resin figures are being produced in the quantities of several hundred to several thousand only. And there is not many stock lying around. However, if they are able to source the item for you, they will help you do it and check everything, but for a higher price. So, each time you see something that is already pre-order closed, always proceed to contact their customer service first and clarify everything. What is the price you can get this item for me? And if you agree to it, then only you proceed and purchase it and then you inform the website, the customer service that this is my order number and I was the guy who just spoke to you about getting this figure for this agreed price. Yeah. If you don't do that, you place the order anyway and pay for it without saying anything. They will assume that you want the figure at any cost and then yeah, they will look for the item and then once they find one, they'll contact you and say, uh, Sir, this figure is no longer 147, it is now 300. Would you like to proceed? And in case you are unwilling to pay that much, the good news is, yeah, they are still willing to refund the money for you. So you can always talk things out, right? However, if you are unwilling to experience this major disappointment and inconvenience where you thought you have already gotten the item, but then they ask you for more money because that is what it is, that is the market value, you want to avoid all of this mess, then 
the very first step you should be doing is to contact them first before yeah hitting that pre-order button and that is the main message i would like to give you guys today in this video don't repeat the same mistake what that guy in reddit did over there if we take a look back at the older version of OS GK, the version 1.0, yeah, they mentioned pre-order closed and then to know what to do next, you will have to read every single line in the item description in detail, read carefully. Then you'll notice a line over there telling you to contact customer service for current prices. And I believe that is one issue where a lot of people don't read carefully before buying something. It is a very common problem. And now this version 2.0 website, there are a lot of improvements like the first four lines over there, they mentioned pre-order closed and contact for current prices. Everything is clear. So you should be following the instructions and even better, Another major improvement in this version 2.0 of OSGK website is for early bird pre-orders. For example, figures that do not have many product pictures yet, only one teaser pick from the figure company. This is also the one thing which is different from genuine figures. Sometimes the figure does not have an official price yet, does not have official product photos yet, but they start taking pre-orders. This is maybe ethically questionable, but every third-party resin website does it because they compete for business to see. So if you want to be at the front of the queue, like I want to make sure I get this figure no matter the cost, and you are willing to place down a pre-order despite not knowing the final price, this is for you, early bird pre-orders. And this newer version, the good thing about this is that since they do not know the final price yet, you can always place a $100 deposit and check out as usual. But you wanted to pay full price up front, $400, but you can't add the item to cart. They don't let you check out because they don't know the price yet. What if you paid $400 and then they tell you the final is $500 and you are unhappy about it, right? So they might as well not let you pay the full amount because it is not yet confirmed. And this is one of the few major improvements I've seen from OSGK compared to the older website. So I would say that if you were to proceed to buy from this website, yeah, I think feel rest assured. And if you are unsure of anything, contact them by WhatsApp or any other means. And please do make use of our affiliate links in the description below. It will really help out this channel. So the main take home message for today is if you are unsure, always ask first. Regardless of whether it is a pre-order closed item or an early bird or any other product status, ask if unsure. Simple as that. Yeah. If you found this video today helpful, please do give this video a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe to this channel for more anime figure related content every week. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye and have a nice day.